hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you want to see how i cut this beautiful cow kaftan make sure you watch till the end hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we'll be make, learning how to make a cow kaftan there are different styles of cow kaftan and there are different ways to make them so so we'll be doing one of them today now and again, if you are to make this now, it's preferable you use a stretchy material. As you can see, this material is stretchy. So if you notice, I had to use um, office pin to hold it so that it does not move. It does not move. You can also use something like to place on top, like something like to place on top. But me, I used um, office pin to pin, to pin it. Then the measurement I'll be needing for this is the full length. The full length of the client is 56 plus 1 inch for similar allowance, which is 57. And then the hip. The hip is 43. And then the center of the neck to the hand, where I want the hand to stop. That's from the center of the neck. Is it, is it what they call it? Is it apex or something like that? To where I want the hand to stop is 29. So, and if you notice, I've measured from here to here it's 29 so i'll just fold a little bit a little bit when i'm like sewing so that's that that's from the center of the neck to where i want the hand to stop is 29 inch then the roundness of the hand like if the cloth is going to stop here it's going to stop here or here depending on what you want then you measure the roundness of the hand if it's here you want it to stop you measure the round but this is three quarter it's going to stop something here so i measured the client's roundness so which is um 12 inch you know but you know i'll be dividing it by two which is six so let's go ahead as i'm also um uh, marking i'll also be explaining to you don't forget if you have any question please let me know let me go so the first thing is i've taken the full length of the dress so that's what i used to cut it out if you notice this is the full length from here to here this is the full length so that was what i used and fold and also the way i folded it it's please let me show you the way to fold it let's say this is your fabric now if you want to fold you fold you fold like this, like this, then like this, you see it, like this, like this, this will be the, from here to here is the full length, Why right from here to here is the center of the neck to where you want the hand to stop, so you try and measure to make sure it corresponds to what you actually want, and again, if you want to sew this, always use my depending on how long you want the hand to be is that you can decide to go for materials that are by 60 that if you don't want to have a separate hand it does if you want the hand to um together with the cloth without, i mean without cutting a separate hand a separate sleeve for it so it's always advisable to use materials that are by 60. so let me go ahead So the neckline I'll be using is four and a half. That's the wideness will be four and the depth. The wideness will be four and a half and the depth will be four and a half. So let me go ahead and mark. Four and a half. And four and a half. The material is a stretch material, so I'm trying to be careful with it. Mm 
be that then where i want the the hand to stop that from the center of the neck to where i want the hand to stop like i said earlier it's 29 so i'm going to mark it's actually at the tip 29 29 i hope you can see it so from the center of the neck to where i want the hand to stop it's 29 so what i'll do is i'll come down by three inches which is what i marked here i came down by three inches then from where the neck stop to this place i'm going to connect it i'm going to connect it Material is a stretchy material, so you have to, I have to be careful. So the roughness of the hand, you know, I said it's six. So instead of me to add that two inch allowance, seam allowance, I'll it's like a kind of much so i'll add one inch which is seven seven which is what i marked here seven so after marking the seven i'll come in by one inch i'll come in by one inch i'll stop here one inch i came in by one inch then the next is to get her hip the hip like i said earlier is 43 you know this is folded into four so 43 divided by four is going to give us um okay let me use this this 21 and a half and then this is this is ten and three quarter, ten and three quarter, which is almost eleven. So this is a fill and gun. I'll just make it to be eleven, ten and three quarter. So I just okay. Let me go ahead and use that ten and three quarter, which is ten and three quarter. So ten and three quarter. What I'll do is I'm going to add two inch seam allowance, ten and three quarter, which is almost eleven. So I'll go ahead and add two inch seam allowance, which is thirteen. Thirteen. So I'll take it down and note it. So I'll mark it down to know where I'll have to connect this from. Remember I said it's 13, 12 and um, 3 quarter, 12 and 3 quarter, but I'm marking 13. She actually wants the ground to be free, so I think it will still be okay. So I'm going to note it, use my ruler to connect it. This is a stretchy material, so you have to be careful. And I'll keep marking it like get to the down part. So I've connected it. So since I don't want the curve to extend towards to the end, that's the curve area the as a cow look or what they call it. So I came up I came up by 13 inch mark mark here so what i will do next is to connect this line to where i have 
the measurement for the hand. Which is here. I'll connect here to here. I'll connect here to here. You can also decide to connect that where you have from here to the end of the coat, depending on what you want. Depending on what you want. But I want here the down part to be somehow fitted. A little bit, not all that, but somehow a little bit fit. So I'm going to start, I'll connect from here to here. This is my ruler, it's not that long. So I'll just go ahead and use my hand to trace it. Now, to trace it. And this, is, this material is to stretch it. Trace it. So this is what I'll have. I'm trying to make it both so that you will see it. Yeah, it's too stretchy. What will I even use to hold it? Let me try and use this. So, I'll go ahead and cut. So, I hope you understand. Please, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer your question. And also, please, if you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button. And also hit on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I make a new upload. So, what I'll do is, I hope you can see it clearly. This is the neckline, this is the hand. I came down by three, then measured this, and then connected this from, from here to here. Where I want the the curve to stop but the straight line but here will just be somehow you know free it will not have that curve that this one will have it will not have that cow look is it cow look or what it will not have that look that this one will have so that's that so i'll go ahead and cut Guess what just happened? I forgot to add extra inch seam allowance. Wow! Luckily for me, this is a fitted dress. So what I'll do is, while joining the front panel to the back panel, I'll be mindful of the inch I'll use to sew it. Please do not be like me. Do not forget to add your extra inch seam allowance seam allowance i was supposed to add like one inch seam allowance but you know i forgot so please remember to add yours remember to add so we are done you can see the way it's it look so i'll go ahead over to it um to my sewing machine and sew it Please, if you are yet to subscribe, click on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I make a new upload. And also, we have a Facebook group uh, that is on Facebook. So, join the Facebook group, also known as Sew with Stella on Facebook, for more interesting tutorials. So, till I come your way next time. Bye-bye.